I'm James, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Northern Virginia. Today, I'm going to show you how to configure permissions for creating a multi-AZ Amazon FSX for Windows file server share with a self-managed Active Directory. Let's get started. First, we'll be creating a service account to use for FSX. Sign in as a domain account with permissions to create users in AD. Open Active Directory Users and Computers. Right-click the OU where you want to create the service account in and choose New User. If you don't use the default computer OU, note that now for a later step. Create the user. I'm using FSX as the username. Select Next after filling it out. Create a password for the user. For this video, I've checked Password Never Expires. Note that this is not a best practice for production environments as it results in service accounts with very old passwords. After you've set the password, select Next. Choose Finish to create the user. Delegate permissions to the service account that you created in step one. In the Active Directory Users and Computers window, I'm delegating the permissions to the default OU, which is domain slash computers. If you're using a different OU for FSX, be sure to do these steps in that OU. Right click the OU that you'll be using and then select Delegate Control. Click Next on the splash page. Select the service account created in step one. Select the Create a custom task to delegate radio button and select Next. Select only the following objects in the folder and then select Computer Objects from the list. Also check Create selected objects in this folder and Delete selected objects in this folder. Select Next. Check the following four permissions. Reset password, read and write account restrictions, validated write to DNS host name, validated write to service principal name. Select Next. Select Finish. Now in the AWS Management Console, Navigate to the FSX console. Select Create File System. Select Amazon FSX for Windows File Server. Select Next. For the file system details, select Multi AZ, then Storage Capacity Desired and Throughput Capacity. For Network and Security, select the VPC for your self-managed Microsoft Active Directory and select the two subnets that you want it to be in. For Windows Authentication, select Self-Managed Microsoft Active Directory and then fill in the requested information using the service account that you created earlier. Note that if you did not use the default computers OU above, then make sure to enter the OU you did use here. Select different encryption options as needed. I've used the default settings here. Select maintenance window options. Note that when using multi-AZ FSX for Windows, while maintenance is underway, the FSX fails over to the second server, which results in zero downtime during the window for normal maintenance tasks. I've left mine the default here. Select Next. A summary of the options selected appears. Note which settings can't be changed after creation. If any of those options need to be changed, this is your final chance. Select Create File System. The FSX is now created. This can take a few hours depending on the size of the share desired. When this is complete, you'll see a completion banner at the top of the FSX console. To attach this share to an instance within the domain, select Attach in the top right of the console and then follow the instructions there. 
Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.